Hi, this is Lee Delaney with Norton Healthcare. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to sign up for a Norton EpicLink account. The process for signing up for this account will be very similar for medical and clinical sites as well as care management sites. With Norton EpicLink, you will be able to access information about shared patients who utilize Norton Healthcare Adult Services and Facilities as well as Norton Children's Pediatric Services and Facilities. Through Norton EpicLink, you will be able to view a patient's medical records, including lab results, diagnostic test results, hospitalization records, procedural information, and more. You will also be able to refer a patient or place an order to a Norton Healthcare or Norton Children's specialist or diagnostic service. And you'll also be able to check the status of that referral or order. So let's get started with the sign up process. First, go to NortonEpicLink.com. Select whether you are requesting an adult or a pediatric account. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to select an adult referral. On the next screen, you will select that you want to set up a new user. If you already have an EpicLink account, you can also log in here. Then you'll select which type of account you want to open, whether it's a new clinical or medical site, or a case management site. You could also select an ROI user or a research monitor, but we're not going to go into those today. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll choose the new clinical site request. On this page, you will start to fill out the information. You will put your name, your phone number, your fax number, your clinic address, the city, state, and zip code, and you'll keep going through this page and fill in all of the spots where you see the little red exclamation point. Once you fill out your clinic name, address, and contact information, you will be asked to fill out a list of providers. So you will click on this provider info link. A new window will pop up in which you will enter the provider names for your practice, the provider type, and your provider NPI numbers. After you filled out your provider list, Save that to your desktop. Save it with changes somewhere that you can access it later. Once you have filled that out and you've saved it to your desktop, you'll want to attach that file. The file with your providers will let us create your provider group and then allow you to be able to make referrals on behalf of your provider once your group is created and you have access to EpicLink. Once you've attached that file, if you have any comments you wish for us to know about your practice, you can enter that there. Perhaps you have more than one location. Uh, perhaps you have providers who work at multiple locations. Just let us know that information. It'll help us process your request better. Then hit the Next button. On the next page, you will select which type of user you are requesting access for. Since this is your first time signing up your clinic, then you would likely select the clinical user. You will also be the person who manages your clinic site information, and you will also likely be the site administrator for your site. So fill out the information requested, and be sure to check the site administrator box before hitting accept. This is where you will fill out the information requested. You'll put in your name, your date of birth, a work phone, your work email, and if you've ever had a Norton account before. If you've had a Norton account before, that's fine. Just select yes. If not, select no. At the bottom of the page, be sure to check make this user a site administrator. If you're the one creating the clinical site for your practice, then you'll want to select that. Being the site administrator allows you to add and delete users and also keep your practice information updated should it ever change. Once you've filled out that information, hit Accept. Then on this next page, you should see the request that you just made for yourself, the site administrator, and you'll be able to add other users at the same time. To add new users, you would select the plus Add button, and here you would either add a provider or another clinical user. It is recommended that you have one to two clinical users who are site administrators for your practice. That way, in case somebody leaves, there's another person in your practice who can take over as site administrator. Providers in your practice don't necessarily need to be added as users. 
unless they want to have access to the Epic Link site. Oftentimes, practices have their administrators or their MAs as the only ones who have access to Epic Link, and they can pull out the records for the provider. Before you submit the verification for your site, take a moment to review the people you are adding to it. If you need to change or edit anything, you can do that up there at the Edit button, or you can delete it and start over by then adding a new user. This looks good to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit Site Verification. On the next page, you want to review the terms and conditions, agree to the terms and conditions, verify that you're not a robot, and put your name as the requester. You will submit your request, and then you will get a reference number for your request. Feel free to print this page or write down that reference number for future reference in case you need it. You can always contact the Norton Healthcare Help Desk at 502-629-8911 if you have any technical issues or questions. Or feel free to reach out to your physician liaison at liaison at nortonhealthcare.org.